What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Mario Kart Board stream. And today, we have the biggest match of the year, the MKPS Grand Finals of the Final Eight. Ethereal versus Wally Wong should be a good one. And to join me today is Yoshter and Pirate. What? Yeah, What's if good? you don't know, uh, um, Ethereal is starting 1-0 in this best of five uh, since they won winners. Uh, WZ coming from the losers bracket, so once again, Ethereal is going to start with a 1-0 lead in the best of five. So WZ is going to have to win three matches. It's Ethereal's two, so they're going to have to be win an extra. We're seeing four matches today if it comes to that. So strap in because it's going to be a good day of Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah. Have y'all casted that many matches in a row, like, you know, for a single match? I know I sure as hell haven't. <laughs> I think the most I've done was three at, after, at one time, so four would be quite the long day, for especially for these guys in the room. Yeah. Yeah, it's late over there. I don't know how Ethereal's <laughs> going to do it. I've got my monster ready. I don't know if they have their monster ready, but... <laughs> Well, these guys have been preparing really hard. Both these teams, I've played against each of them like four times this week. So they're definitely getting their practice yeah. in and they are ready to go today. It'll be interesting to see if there may be some fatigue. I mean, I remember I played in spring split. I played 40 races in a row. And at that point, it's kind of gassed. But I'm yeah. sure, I don't think these players have a problem. I think that they played, I mean, they can play for a while. But it'll be interesting. I mean, it could definitely impact some things if it especially gets to match four or going into the 48th race or whatever. So, um, you know, definitely could have an impact if it's not wrapped up quickly. Yeah. Well, speaking of these players, let's take a look at this ethereal lineup to start. We have Crash, Faisal, Jeff, Noctil, and Bobby doing the bagging. The host of this room is, of course, the team's leader, Jeff, and probably the fastest player in this lineup yeah um i mean it's pretty standard for the most part they have been switching hawk and noctul i believe and yeah. maybe a little bit of Faisal as well so yeah i mean i think this is their typical lou i mean we could see a hawk sub if one of the players doesn't feel like they're playing a uh, standard so that's i mean that could happen but uh, we'll see yeah last time these teams Faced off earlier in the final eight bracket, Ethereal won two nothing with Hawk in lineup over Noctil. So switching into Noctil now, uh, kind of an interesting choice. I have a lot of faith in him. Uh, definitely a veteran of the game. So putting him yeah. in the spot, I'm sure they feel very safe doing. Yeah, I I imagine you know it's definitely a certain level of comfort to feel very comfortable having both those assets, especially over like the long set we have, especially for how late it is for the European players to have an American able to sub out there already, that's just, that's just gotta be yeah. huge. Definitely an asset to this team. Of course, this WZ team entirely American, so they're starting in the middle of the day. Might give them a bit of a benefit. For, uh, I, I, I don't know, the, the, those sleep schedules are something else. Like, <laughs> yeah. may, maybe I, they're just getting I, up I, from that I, right I, now. Yeah, Mario Kart Wii sleep schedules, people are just all over the place sometimes. I, like, DJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I've seen Europeans stay up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So I mean, I, I mean, we'll see. But now, yeah. go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm. So yeah, we've talked about Ethereal and how they've. Uh, I mean, more recently, won the the kind of set between them and, and Wally Walks, right? Yeah. It seems like they're they've been pretty strong. But you said they've scrimmed this this week. How uh, do you guys know how they've been looking recently? At least in these scrims, any even any notable strong. differences? Mm -hmm. They've been right. looking pretty strong. They've been using the same lineup. Uh, I played against them probably a, literally like two or three days ago, and I think they beat us by 100 <laughs> with this very Jeez. lineup. So <laughs> they're definitely ready to go. Playing WZ also um, beat us by a little bit less, but still a decent win to them. So both of them feeling pretty good, I think. Both of them have their main lineups today. So I think they're both just feeling good. Mm -hmm. So there is a little bit of history between these two teams, specifically actually in the summer split. Uh, WZ um, losing in the final splits to MW02. Okay, that's not good. My bad. But Ethereal did knock out WZ in round two earlier in the uh, split. 
So, yeah. or the bracket rather. So that's why they're here. They're gonna have to try to get their revenge here. Yeah. Um, so it is kind of a revenge narrative in a sense for WZ. Well, in the summer split, it was WZ who ended up knocking out Ethereal two to nothing. All right, that's what I Move meant. on to yeah. the final. So Ethereal was able to get their revenge in the final eight, and now WZ is coming back and trying right. to take it. And speaking of WZ, we'll get into their lineup real quick. They have Jack, Casper, Quinn, TK, and Edison. And I think the highlight in this lineup, for me at least, is Edison, who only started bagging last September. He uh, is going up against Bobby, who's really like a veteran bagger, bagging for like five, six years now. Has been playing for this team for a long time. And uh, have both of them have pretty different styles. I've played against both of them uh, quite a few times bagging. Uh, Bobby, a bit more fundamental. Not going to see too much uh, craziness from him. He does kind of have a tendency to get a few troll penalties, though. So hopefully he's able to dial that down a bit today. And uh, Edison, uh, obviously a runner turned bagger. A little bit more aggressive as well against the other bagger, going for a lot of bumps and interesting plays. So uh, in the bagging battle, it should be pretty interesting, I think. So without further ado, we start with Maple Treeway, a very famous 1-3 start and a pick so um and you know it's a very tech track there's a lot of bumpy roads so that's what jeff kind of wants in first is we have casper to start off as our pov this phase was the other yep. so wz holding their spots right now in two four casper with this red might try to get it off on crash here and it looks like it does connect not for streaming up going to be top two for ethereal early on jeff already starting to break away a bit this is huge for ethereal they can get this guy in the, staying in the front. Uh, it should be pretty smooth sailing for them, at least this race. Yeah, Noctil trying to uh, trail Quinn there, just swerving in and out. Even if he doesn't connect, he's able to get Jeff in a more break because Quinn's not allowed to wheelie or take a tight line. Uh, Casper does have triple shroom, so he's going to be able to do the shroom cut as well. It's going to make up some ground here very shortly. Mm -hmm. And as you can see with the CDGP update a few days ago, we have colored lines once again and the entirety of Ethereum's lineup is European so they will have green lines and WZ's entire running lineup is American so they all have blue lines so it makes it a bit easier to follow so it looks like see their names. so we see Jeff getting blued early one minute blue for WZ and then we see the baggers also standing pat and another blue oh, another okay blue. so we're able to dodge this one still a shroom in first getting those triple shrooms in fourth earlier yeah, in the race uh, depending how far ahead he is, yeah, he's going to get that shroom, so he's probably going to end up holding the shroom, unless he hits that air, of course. <laughs> but I would still say he might actually hold it, in case there's another blue, there's still plenty of time to pull yeah. another one. So, it doesn't look and like Noctil we'll is see... shrooming range if he takes cut here. 1-3 for WZ. And one of the baggers falling off, and the other one, I think, touching the box? I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll see if there's a cannon shock here, and it, it is. WZ shock. Two people dodging in the cut, it looks like, in 4-5. Let's go ahead and take a look at Faisal's point of view. You see uh, Casper dodging up as well. We've got that sweet one minute delay on Casper's stream. So, uh, we'll see about that. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Right, we'll just stick to Casper. He's going to get this first, most likely. And then... Leaving that shroom, obviously a WZ top two there. See Knockle possibly Bit of a breakaway. This is going to be a strong race for WZ, it looks like. Bobby was in 10th, so it might be an Ethereal last second shock, but it's not going to break this top two. Last second and shock. Jack Could have waiting. TK coming up on the left. And there's Jack in second. Eighth and it looks like a top three for out. WZ to start off. All right, so yeah. Things going in your favor. Uh, Casper pulling triple shrooms in a pretty high spot. And he's able to get in the first because Jeff gets blued with two shrooms. So he just ends up dodging both the blues. Uh, three blue shells within possibly, I think, a minute and 20 seconds, so. Yeah. But Shock obviously helping out. And three a lot blues of people and the two Shocks, race one, and it's going to be a WZ top three, five, ten. Huge race to start off. Yeah, I wonder if Bobby ended up going for the Shock, um, and then he got Bill, so he had the fall with it. Um, and that may have been able to get Edison the item he needed um, but now top 3-5 going into next race good good starting positions again so mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there is a position glitch when you are bagging on Maple Treeway that uh, sometimes does happen, sometimes doesn't. It's hard to tell uh, whether it does or not unless you're watching the bagging battle. So can't really tell if that was in 10th or 9th, but it is likely that uh, one player did pull the bill, fell off a bit, and then uh, Edison was able to get it. But either way, it worked out for WZ top 3-5, like we said. See what they want to go with here. Assume it's going to be a BCW. So yeah, we're going to stick with the uh, cash or stream, at least for the rest of this GP. Um, hopefully we'll get everything situated. Uh, there's a little bit of differences in stream delay right now, so. Um, but Bowser's Castle and Delfino, obviously the reset track versus the top three track, and WG gets their wish, so. Ethereal's going to have to hope they get some sort of at least shroom usage, or shroom items, maybe in sixth place at the wavy section. Uh, something like that, maybe a bomb would be good too. So, just something Might to shake up the top spots. It's the back here after the first ramp, this WC top three, you're going to be able to hog all these ramp boxes. Mm. Pretty common strategy nowadays. It looks like Casper's going to just hold his banana. Yeah, he, he may have connected with Crash there just because he was in his line for a little bit, but Dops did not do it. I mean, teams are pretty much expecting him at this point, so. And you see that Shroom usage, both Crash and Jeff getting Shrooms, so they're able to at least get into 2 3 for now. Crash on the other side. Yeah, this is not a track you want to fall behind on. Casper opting not to block the glitch. Obviously, all funky runners, but <laughs> still, in this day and age, uh, the glitch is pretty common at a high level. So. Yeah, so the left path is slightly faster, but it's really not much of a difference, so Crash may be able to take advantage of it. Maybe go a little bit faster than Casper, so he's able to trail him right there. And now Ethereal just shakes up this top three track as they able to stream into the front, make a play. And now they just shake up the rest of the spots as easy as that. I think they're top three in fact, so yeah. So Ethereal turning this race around very quickly. Bobby winning the bagging battle by a lot right now. You might be expecting Edison to change some boxes in ninth here, as it is pretty easy to follow up with the bill, and there's a lot of boxes at that first wavy part. Yeah, so Edison, yeah, had gonna do. Edison has a decent shot of actually pulling the shock. You see Bobby actually just go forward after that ramp. So he's gonna it's gonna be even longer for him to get shock unless Edison pulls it. You see the soft glitch at And Casper like, spamming blue and or spamming yeah, spamming blue and then taking wow. glitch gonna get into first place here, challenging Jeff. Oh no, has there's no a red item. Jeff does have a red, so he's able to get it off here on the screen. He's just gonna eat it, I guess. And it goes right past <laughs> <faster>. him. <laughs> Mario Kart Wii, and we're one four still with WZ. So, and you know, Edison was spamming boxes, but now we see Edison get plump. Dropping the stock in first place. Bobby not falling off anymore. You can expect an ethereal shot coming up here soon. Yeah. So, and it is an ethereal shot dodging Casper in second. Wait. And okay, so Jeff ended up dodging as well. Probably spam his mega. I'm, I'm not sure, but he ended up yeah. dodging that truck somehow. And Jeff's gonna hold first for now. And Casper's gonna hang on to second. I. Oh yeah, so there's a. And Jeff oh wow, what a play! Nice what play a play by, him by hitting that wall. And Ethereum's gonna hold top two going to the last straight. Casper read it into <laughs> the fire on the track. Oh my gosh! What a really play. well played by that Ethereal duo of Faisal and Jeff. And this looks like a bottom three for WZ. Ethereal with the plays. The stopping. They stop for the blue, then they get Casper with the red. Great play all around. Just, wow, that's just amazing. Yeah. Almost Really speechless. well played. Put Casper in a box there in front of the last man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Edison spun out on the mini-map, so Ethereal ends up using the shock there. I think they actually canceled Crash's TC. That's probably the purpose of the shock, and then uh, maybe one of their other members dodging in the back. And the blue just turning that race around. I mean, I, I'm a, I mean, I would have to assume it'd be a WZ blue. And you know, Casper yeah. just not ready for it. Jeff in the perfect position. And so the red is five low. blues after two races. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We are on a blue and spree right now. Ethereal with that top four has now taken the lead after getting top three five to race one. So two very bipolar races uh, right off the bat. Very well played by Theory, able to turn around a top three starting spot on BCWE, which is probably the most overpowered track for those spots, uh, turning it into yeah, the best race they could possibly get. I'm not sure anymore if it is the best top three track, though, because we saw both Ethereal members, Crash and Jeff, 
both getting shrooms and it's one of those tracks where you can kind of sneak by people and if you're able to do it right you're able to just get in the first or second it's yeah. kind of what ended up happening so yeah we saw jeff and crash shrooming up instantly and it might have been a product of just not enough backslam to start you know, WZ really didn't play aggressive there at the beginning. Yeah. And, uh, he was able to shroom up. I mean, yeah, Crash was in Casper's line briefly, so he may have connected with an early banana. But regardless, a good top four. WZ does get their signature track pick, <laughs> MC3. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a good track for them. They'll be able to at least reset some things, and I won't want TF or something to get picked. So. Casper decided not to slow down. And Mega in fifth. He's yeah, he's runners already a bit behind. He has options with this. He can chain it or he can hold it. Um, depends on everyone's play style. But considering Quinn went into his Mega, yeah, we're probably going to expect him to hold it. Now, so. It looks like Quinn tried to Mega a bagger. Don't think it works. Yeah, I think 2 4 5 for WZ. So very mixed spots. But you see it first, kind of. I had the rest of the pack, and it is one of those tracks where you can break away on the jet. Trying to connect on the bomb doesn't connect. Forces the Mega out of Casper, of course. Then shooting up. 3 4 5 for WZ. Ooh. Both of them dying. Ooh, this is a bad power for Casper as well. Plays it pretty well, but he's going to lose time regardless. Uh, and top top ethereal to his top for Ethereal. Yeah. And these reds are not going to help things, especially if Bobby has a shock. Although Casper. <laughs> That red is going very slow. He's going to... <laughs> and I believe Bobby's in 10. I think Edison had to use a bullet. Okay, so. Could be seeing an ethereal shock or more likely a shockless rate. Go too soon. There's Naga coming up in the bill. Top three for ethereal. PK shooting up. Going to try to break into that. Looks like maybe something a cancel on Crash because he kind of died from first a bit. Jack ended up starring up and he's going to get third and I think that's a 2-3 for WZ, 2 three, five, six. so yeah huh interesting uh WZ sure able to ethereal, even though Naki did dodge I'm not sure that was an ethereal shock it looked like it helped WZ much more yeah the only other thing I mean I wasn't really paying attention as much but Crash ended up losing a ton of speed so I, I don't think we saw a blue though so it was kind of weird probably got hit by something though but uh 2 three, five, six for WZ he'll take it considering they were not the starting top four, so. Yeah. So, one four for Ethereal. I believe that's a slightly winning race, considering Bobby got ninth. But it's going to keep the score pretty tight going into race four. Yeah, we saw two massive races. <laughs> and sometimes that could dictate the match. Uh, especially when you start top three, five, and then the other team just gets top four, so pretty much the square one. And we have WZ kind of combating that, so. And we're gonna switch over to Faisal here for this race four. Warriors gold mine for Ethereal. They do have that one and eight, which are good starting spots for gold mine, able to get that box up top, and hopefully first can uh, take two of the boxes on the downward slope and hold on with some of the hidden turns with backspin. Faisal going up for the box here. In eighth place, getting a star. You see one of the baggers going up on the ramp too. I believe that is Bob. He does tend to use that strategy quite a bit. So if he was able to get a box, then he can go through. But it looks like he did not. He pulled Bill and fell off. And Edison's going to barrel through. Yeah, he's just trying to con Basil's just trying to connect on a couple WZ members. Looks like he got one off and just trying to also gain some ground. I mean, he got the second one. Because it's really the only place you can catch up on this track outside of the year. So able to take advantage of that. I believe this is Bobby actually in 10th now. Edison fell off with Bill afterwards. A trick shot attempt, uh, knowing it wouldn't hit Phaser, but doesn't connect with anyone else. Then here's yep. Casper. Oh, he Casper. Casper off the track. <laughs> nice play by him. And Ethereal having his top two breakaway now. I believe it still is Bobby in 10th. I don't think anybody has it yet, though. We'll see coming up at this ramp. Both dagger stopping. Someone has to have it. Or there's a bait hazard. <laughs> but I really don't think he would do this. You know more than me about bag, so. <laughs> uh, but I think it's unlikely Bobby would be baiting in the spot. We uh, saw, we see Edison just fall just now. So um, Casper is very far behind at eight after that TC pass off. So 
Hazel and Knock will still holding it down on top two. No shock. Most likely they get top two minutes of blue. So we already have seen quite a few blues so far. Edison yeah, just Edison. respawning. Definitely not gonna be have a shock in time for WZ4 or TF. However, I Bobby's kinda schmoozing on the mini map, so I don't think anyone really has it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, so this could actually potentially be a shock or space depending on things go, but oh, there it is. So, uh, a couple like of other members, a couple of members dodging in the back, so it shouldn't impact too much. Although there's boost, yeah, uh, uh, getting that red get off the very last red second on Basil. You see Jeff also stop negging there though to try to save Basil's race a little bit. So good play by him, um, but Basil. Ended up getting redded. Off the okay, yeah. So you ended up getting redded off that. You lost a couple. You lost a spot. You didn't lose a couple spots, but it's a four-point swing. Jeff able to stop an Omega though to save potential points. So good play by him. Jeff was a playmaker that race. He gave Casper the TC. And he bumped them off as well with it, and then uh, of course that stopped Mega at the end, helping his teammates out even more and clutching up that one, three, four, five. So Ethereal are in the driver's seat after one. Yep. Knocked with a big GP. Like we said, he tends to be the one to kind of platoon with Hawk, so seeing him perform, I'm sure that Ethereal is very pleased. All right. And with that last race, Ethereal will take a 20-point lead, 132 to 112 after the first GP. And shot count pretty much even so far. Looks like the bagging battle uh, has swung in either way. With... WZ getting one on Maple and MC3, and Ethereal getting theirs on Bowser's Castle and Wario's Goldmine. Yeah, so, 1-3 mm, could be a mountain pick coming up. Still have yet to play uh, Dry Dry Runes, of course, as well. Another popular alternating spot track if you're the hosting team. Yeah, so far, um, our streamers have been playing pretty good, so, you know, that's pretty good, of course. Um, skip the phase, so we'll get a quick into the future, <laughs> what the picks are going to get picked, so DDR and GV, and it is DDR for 1-3, so, comes down to the sand hop lap one, I mean, <laughs> even though not a lot of people do fail it, it does happen from time to time, so, making sure you get that sand hop off and all the other, uh, tech stuff on the track you can really break away on while the other people will be going for goldens maybe a bomb in the mid packs yeah you're really getting their track pick once again with that first place starting position did not work out for them last time but we're going to turn it around here basil going for the eighth place box getting a star yeah so some we have seen wz some of their matches they've actually been sitting in eighth for the longest time but that time they just drive through i don't think it's worth it on this track yeah, hopefully we don't get a case of both of our POVs stopping at the first <laughs> for 25 seconds. That's a fair point, that's a fair point, actually. <laughs> it has happened before, with these two very streamers, I believe, so... Um, but, yeah, it looks like just getting that TC off to Basil, who's able to change for Shrooms. Sometimes it's not worth, but in that situation, they felt like it was worth it. We don't want to be too far behind on this track, um, so... Oh, and TK Laney right, right out of Ultra. Mega I think, one of the baggers as well. Didn't see if that was Bobby or Edison, but someone is way in tempo right now. And we will see them coming up here. That's by TK Mega in Basil. I'm not sure if that's going to shake up too many things. Basil's also able to get a star out of it. And he's able to be right next to Casper and Jack. You see Nako and Eight though, so. Most likely Basil next spot. Star. Bobby just took a 10th place spot. Okay, so Blue Shell. Um, we see one of the people taking Ultra very quickly. Star used by Casper. Casper just maybe once the box says this. That's the only thing I can think of. So this could triple shrooms. No shock yet. Likely Ethereal is going to be getting it here. Obvious. Pretty far in 10. Edison just fell off the bill. Probably did touch at least two boxes, I believe, while he's in the so. I'm pretty sure Basil, yeah, he pulled the blue, and I'm pretty sure he's holding it. So Ethereal is probably the top two. Um, Bobby looks like he's still chaining shrooms. Basil holding this blue. 
And they're gonna try to shock you in the third. line. Yeah, they're gonna try to blue third out of this. It does connect, I think. Wait, it's crash? Like on crash a bit oh. more. Oh, huh. okay. Still, weird. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you didn't play by Imperial there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I think they were also able to hold on to 145. Yeah, so. Uh, that's that's just bad. I mean, the fact that Faisal even threw that blue, knowing it wasn't going to connect on any of the WZ members, and then. I don't. Like, do you pay attention to use that shock? I mean, because. If WZ used that, it's kind of funny because <laughs> Faisal probably threw it thinking he could lose some WZ members and then the shock just happens anyway. So Ethereal does lose some points off of that, um, but they will still win the race slightly by, I think, one actually. So I assume that was an Ethereal shock considering the timing of the blue throw. Yeah, but wow. Crash ended up getting hit by it, so I, it's really weird. Maybe WZ member might have gotten backed and... Trash just barely took over third and got blued. Yeah, but they were top two though, so I don't, I don't know what really happened. You know, regardless, <laughs> throwing that blue probably wasn't the smartest play. Um, but two, three, six, seven. So looks like CM. Another and slightly GB. winning race here for Ethereal. Yeah, CM. So tracks really important after the first set. Who will get shrooms? Who will get a bomb? Who will get triple green? Something around that sort. Another and good track for Ethereal's yeah. first place position, as well as a uh, spot in the back. Of course, a sitting track for the baggers. He may also be sitting, but Basil does pull triple shrooms. Oh. And we'll get in the get first. first. Pretty good play, considering we see three or four runners all the way in the oh. back. Really no point <laughs> in holding those. Yeah, I remember that track. bomb I mentioned. Like a couple people ended up getting bombed, so... It's going to benefit Basil's lead, so we'll go ahead and switch over to Casper, hopefully, here if we can. But Basil's going to be able to hold down this first. So I'm not sure if anyone's holding the bill. If it is, it is likely Nakua right here. But like we said, there were so many people sitting at the set, probably didn't even happen. And Ethereal looks to be 5-6-7, so... Ooh. if. After, if WZ is able to pull a blue show. That is one sneaky fib placement right there, that's for sure. But um, yeah, he's gonna end up chaining the star, try to gain some ground, get some mega out of it. Not the worst thing. I mean actually it's pretty good, especially since he's able to do the cut. He's able to save this mega for a bit, hope for maybe uh shock towards the end of the race, so mm -hmm. typically I don't know what baggers do as much, but I feel like a lot of baggers do go forward and ninth on this track, but uh, it's likely that both of these guys, if there is someone is holding Bill, it's likely these guys are taking boxes. But if not, yeah, they're likely being behind the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We see Edison going forwards here. And he's not hitting the car. Edison has the shock. So we do have a WZ shock and this Mega in fifth. Could spell bad news blue. blue will connect on Faisal. He doesn't have any more shrooms. So... You see Crash could just got see TC'd. Okay, so we do see the shock happen on the other point of view. So we'll get an instant replay of where he dodges here, and he dodges right around the escalators. Um, WC is still 2 3 4. Not sure this Mega is going to be able to take him into first place. Bill dodged for Knuckle, so he was holding it. And he's going to use this right behind two of his teammates. A bit of a risky play. He is forced to get top right. So well, yeah, I think he wanted to first. scare. I think he wanted to scare Nocto a little bit, but he's able to escape for now, I believe. But WZ is able to hold on to that two three at least two three four, in fact. So, yeah, good, good job by WZ. I think it's a good play by uh, Casper. He's able to slow down Nocto's momentum a little bit. Not yeah. sure if he got the box out of the bull chain though, so could have been itemless. But regardless, losing down just enough, and they get two three four to end the race. So, uh, think. Getting their first winning race and I believe a couple races. So yeah. See what they I think can do since, with it. I think since Maple since Maple. But all these races have been very close since those first two where they were just a top three five and a top four. So like we said, Nocto was holding that bill from first set, I believe. Edison able to pull the shock in ninth. Pretty much a fifty fifty at that point unless uh, one of the baggers just isn't taking boxes, of course, but basically able to hold on to that first place after shooting up at the beginning. Yeah, even taking a blue, because um, that bomb 
even though we didn't see it, there was probably a bomb lap one, and it kind of blew up the whole room besides Faisal. He did the shortcut as well. Maybe could have dodged that blue, actually, but may have gone bombed if he didn't use his shrooms earlier. So um, it's one of those 50 50 decisions that a lot of people end up making. So, but regardless, still able to hold down first. They get 1 5 going into the next race. So, first is always the most important position to start out. So, be interesting to see what they go with, though. We've pretty much seen for almost the entirety of this match, uh, Ethereal holding down that first position for a majority of the races. Hasn't been a one player in specific, but just really been holding down first place. All four of these guys have been doing a great job of running. Yeah, the classic one five two three four. Don't know what to pick. BC three. All <laughs> ten people. I mean, you know, it is a pretty popular track. Um, I think this may actually benefit Ethereal. They probably have a better success rate on the Ultra Cut than WZ does. But uh, once again, it comes down to who can be clutch and no nerves on it. So. And we see Casper slowing down for the 8th place box, just gonna give up and get the 7th place one. Jeff getting it in 8th. Both divers just going through anyways. Yeah, Jeff didn't get it, so... Um, you'll have a couple more opportunities to get it. But not if Casper's gonna get hit. Cut probably usually is always open, and you see... One person took it and switch over to Basil and then back to Casper, so about a 6 second. Something just to keep in the back of my head. But Casper Goldening and top two for WZ. So they start off the track exactly how they want it. Just take the regular cut. Everyone else do ultra, or do some funny gimmicks, and then get down in the front. You see Bobby just there falling off with the building 10. Edison sitting behind this wall could mean he has it in ninth, and he is going forward. So most likely a WZ shock in ninth there. Yeah, so see if, um, we'll see in the mini map anyway if Casper decides to go for ultra or not. Uh, he's. Probably not too comfortable with it right now, especially with the top three breaks. So. Um, nice bomb. And, oh, there. Yeah, cuts unblocked for Jeff. He takes it, and Faze is able to take it as well. They gain a little bit of ground, but they're not in the top two just quite yet. If, uh, if Jeff does ultra lap three though, and no shock, he'll probably be first. But we'll have to take a look at here. Dean, pay attention. For BC three the standards is a pretty tight pack. It is, yeah. And um, with this WZ shock, they are hoping to protect that top two. Also getting back there. Yeah, Edison's still going backwards. So good chance that he has it indeed. And that blue's going to shake up a couple things, though. Uh, we'll see how that impacts TK's race specifically. We'll see if Jeff ends up going for Ultra. They might TS him, though, if he does that. Uh, looks like they're not able to let Casper dodge it, but that's fine. He's going to be able to do shortcut off of this. Yeah, and he makes it. And yeah, Jeff just doesn't even go for it because they know they're going to TS him anyway. So uh, the shot coming in, and we see Jeff still in second. So just by him going around, he's going to hold that down. Hit by this, does not able to break on the great mm -hmm. two four for Ethereal. Two four five, I believe. I Ethereal member shooting up as well. Jeff getting a ground start from Bobby. Jeff is going to try to stop start Jack uh, yeah. here. Yep, and that, he's going to yep, gain a spot uh, for teammate. Two three four, two spots. Jeff turns that into a winning race for Ethereal with that play. Nice job by Bobby with a heads-up yeah. drop star. Ethereal is playing so good right now. They're making a lot of good team plays from BC Wii to Warriors Goldmine to BC3. And funnily enough, Jeff has been the star of all of them. So he's been the guy, the guy to do it. And Bobby, of course, has to drop the star for him. But he, even, he doesn't even have to connect on uh, Jack there. He can just kind of slow him down. But looks like Jack... Yeah. They didn't really want to lose too many spots, so he probably risked and tried to pass Jeff, and well, probably Jack ended up losing all the spots. Got eighth place and a two four five <laughs> for each. Yeah, playing really, really good right now. Some team MKW. So two, three, four, I think five. So BC uh, sixty four could be a pretty popular track. Four, five, and draft and spot. That's fifth. At least able to get a draft. But Might go for a stadium as well. Stadium? Like picking that one and the other team okay. has first place. And they're going with their uh, new pick. I've seen them picking this oh, track dude. quite a bit lately going with DKJP. And WZ with the classic 
from a volcano. With yeah, they've been taking that for a while, and they finally end up getting it, so... See how the things go, so... Ethereal also playing around that chakra, though. Um, and now... We have GV. Very triple shroom-dependent track after lap one. So... See what happens here. See if Faisal slows down a little bit. He does have two teammates behind him though, so maybe we'll just try to roll a shroom in third here. And it's as easy as that, as he gets one as soon as I say. I'm sure he'll be using this lap one just to put the rock up, but again, a bit of a breakaway. Really? I thought he was going to go around the shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, regardless, yeah, he should be fine. Um, no commentators, Jinx. I'll let him take it for uh, now. Commentators, Jinx. Well, I, think he got the I didn't, I didn't now. say he was going to make it or fail it. So, you know. <laughs> Regardless, though, it Jeff, like Jeff able to hit Quinn off the landing on top three for Ethereal. One bagger yeah. very far in 10th right now. We'll see I who think Jeff, up here. Yeah, Jeff was able to take it, and he was able to get a box out of the tomb as well. Since uh, Faisal ended up falling off, he got triple greens and Quinn. Blue coming in, so Jeff's going to probably die for that. Yep. Bobby going to be in 10th for the rest of this race. And the fourth okay. probably just chained off to the ninth. Mm, I think he connected with that. That was very crucial, considering there's triple reds behind him. However, everyone's going to be taking the cut, and Ethereal is not. So that means WZ is going to be top two. And so Ethereal has the shock here. Bobby going forward now, going to try to avoid Edison. Yes, yeah, so now you have to play around the shock. Um, you know, maybe trying to shroom into the shortcut with them, or you're going to have to hit a couple members, and that's exactly what you want, especially Faisal almost comboing his teammate, Kyle Habs. That Kyle, though, is going to shoot out of him. Up. Yeah, and he also doesn't get a box there. Probably needed to get a box there to increase your probabilities of pulling a shroom, unless you know you're pulling one anyway, so... Now, you see, taking cut in first. Probably going to be okay. able to hold on to that. Taking cut in top two. Crash not yeah, able to take it. They're going to get Faisal in here, probably. Yeah. Faisal should get Jack first, off. but Jack is behind him. So Jack is going to... WZ is going to win this race. They're going to get... Oh, wow. They're going to actually soon get first. So they're going to get 1-3-4 out of this race. So exactly what WZ needed. They rolled the right items, quite frankly. They both pulled yeah. shrooms. And Crash did not pull a shroom. So he was the unlucky man out. Um, Casper obviously so. can assume that triple shrooms. able to take the cut lap two and then hold the other one at the end for the respawn. TK probably just pulling it somewhere. Uh, in the first few sets. And Dodge didn't do too much considering that was uh, happening in top two. But Faisal able to break into it, getting second place. WZ, like we said, 1-3-4. And that's uh, a pretty good race for them. Big GP for Casper, 50 points. Yeah, 1-3-4. Now, she might shake up a little bit. So, um, what was it, a 23-point lead? Three point lead now, okay. probably cut in half after that, right? Oh, 12 point lead. Okay, so yeah, this is wow. very close. Yeah, despite Ethereal playing team at Mario Kart Wii, they, uh, WZ also playing pretty well, and they're able to only be down by 12. So, with how well Ethereal has been playing, I think WZ will take this. Wally Wogs, um, no. Only down 12 anyone's game, so a couple of crucial shocks could come in and win them this and steal them match one. And then we'll be tied at one to one apiece. So yeah. Yeah, for those of you just joining us, Ethereal does get a one-nothing lead in this best of five because I did win the winner's bracket. So if they win this, we'll have a two-nothing lead and they could finish it uh, after this one. But if WZ is able to win this, we'll tie it up one to one and uh, we got a ball game. Sure. And um, take a look at what this next track pick is. Ethereal already got both of their one, three, five, seven tracks. I go with, yeah, going with Mountain. That one, three, Gardens for WZ. More of a get a shrew first set track, which is kind of interesting with uh, just alternating spots. It's going to be Ethereal's pick once again, getting three for three, uh, starting off the GP track picks. And All right, so far, so. they only won one by a little bit. So. 
another good tech track. Um, first still does have the advantage, but second he ends up getting bumped and I have to not lose. So. But Jeff able to hold on the first, does back, I believe, Casper, so. Let's break the hit over. Looks like still pretty much alternating spots here at the start. Casper with these triple shrooms. Watch his shroom up instantly, yeah, he will. Jeff, yeah. the only ethereal front presence now. Yeah, let's see how things happen though on the shortcut here. Sometimes just backspin, but Jeff playing it safe probably doesn't want to get ready in case, so. Uh, and oh! Casper's off trying to avoid the red. Tried yeah. to get it off to the left and then almost ran into Jack's red. To yeah, avoid I think it, he did that on track. purpose, I think. Yeah, he tried to get Jack to break it for him, but was unable to, so he falls off. But... Believe Almost a really see. nice play there. Yeah, I think and... eight though. Yeah, Crash is eight. Thank you for that mirror back. And <laughs> Jeff is six, I think now. So yeah, Jeff got hit out of first, maybe from a blue or something along the sorts. So WZ, I think they might be in better spots right now. So and I once think again, another sitting track for the bagger. Yeah. However, with the uh, ramps up, they're both going to be doing. There could be a little bit of lag where one. Fire goes over the ramp, the other one's able to get a box in 10. So that's always an uh, interesting dynamic there in the bagging battle. But likely we're going to see neither of these guys taking boxes. This pack is up. really close on Donkey Kong Mount, so yeah. we'll see how things go. Outside maybe top two by a little bit, but 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are all grabs. Um, I'm switching to Faisal. And that top two is Ethereal, but the blue oh. coming in. And that's FaZe's blue spamming at his teammate, it looks like. That's a big time blue shell because Ethereal is also 2-3. They might actually get a combo off. A bomb does connect on a few people, but it favors Ethereal as it's a 1-2 for two trade. And that blue shell might give Ethereal a much better race. I think they might have gotten top 2 off of it. And it like once again, sitting WB. track. Yeah, a sitting track for the baggers. No one gets to shock. See Casper. Wow. <laughs> Not that, able that, to that avoid the was red. huge, and that blue was, huge, I guess, huge as well. And that's a big race for Ethereal. It's going to be tough for WZ to come back from that with only three left. Yeah, big time blue shell, and Noctil showing off some elusiveness there. The juke moves, able to avoid all those reds being backed into space. Finding a way to avoid them with no space in front of them. Um, and ethereal, and you know, it's important because it's especially in a close match. You know, if he gets hit from fifth to eight, you know, he's losing a, some, a good amount of points. So, the top two five now. And yeah, I thought that was a top three for ethereal. Yeah, Faisal must have died at the end there. I didn't even notice. Yeah, Faisal got bombed, and I think Noctil was just in the back somewhere. So, TK, yeah, probably was still gonna get third off that, but he lost. Ooh, they lost a lot of points off of getting blue there just because Ethereal beats him uh, him, and they get top two, so. Yeah. So top Ethereal extending their lead, but this is not really safe yet. Yeah, it's not. Um, you know, 26, still doable with three left. If, if they take match one, they'll be up 2-0, and they have a couple of opportunities just to take one match back. So... Would be big for them to start off Peach Gardens and Moonview. So, Moonview typically, and I mean, we see a good amount of Moonview nowadays, top two. Um, it's, it's a pretty nice runnable track, although, once again, Shrooms could come into play or a bomb. But would have been a fantastic Indic Rainbow. Yeah, that too. Um, that would have been fun. Yeah, it's not played as much, but I think it's still a pretty good track for who's starting positions anyway, but regardless, see what Casper decides to do. Might end up just trying to draft first. Um, he's not going to get it, so he's going to get a second place box instead, which is fine if he pulls a shroom and doesn't go. A little bit late on that snipe attempt, so Jeff's able to hold his green, but some jacket shrooms, crash can see. Casper led into the wall there. I believe Jack able to hold on to that first place, but WZ needs a winning race here, down a bit over 20 with only three left, including this one. Yeah, so Casper pulling the pal. This might decide if Jack has more shrooms in first, since he did not go up in the beginning. Potentially could have taken a fourth place box, and it'll be interesting to see if they pal them at the last turn. 
get him in the air, maybe. And I think that's what they're attempting to do. Or maybe not. Okay. So now, the bagging battle, Bobby has already hit two chomps in nine. So Edison's going to have a big breakaway in 10th. Not falling off there, so he could already have it. As Bobby just hit another chomp. So Basil Mega's up. Trying to contest Jack. Jack's going to probably be able to hold on the first for now. And Basil does have a shroom. Just plays it safe. He's going to keep it in the shortcut next lap. WZ almost definitely has the shock here. Casper holding the blue. Yeah, kind of an iffy situation. I mean, especially with Jeff with Reds. Yeah, they're going to have to probably just use it. But they use it very early. Casper gets a great chain out of it. Depending on what Jeff gets, though. Jeff got in the red there. That would have been bad for Casper. But doesn't appear to be so. We see actually one person get red, but... Jack able to hold on to first, and then we see Casper probably going up here. Almost the entire room taken cut, with the exception of 8th place, who we assume is holding a dodge. Most likely TK back there. So top two for WZ. They're going to have an opportunity to win this race. A pal. It's going to shake Ooh, that a little bit. Oh, but nice Jack fails. Jack, I think Jack fails, though. That's going to be just the first for WZ now. So two three yeah, for Ethereal. This is going to turn the race around by quite a bit. That Ethereal wasn't able to hold that top two. Shot Shock coming in super come late. In. Looks like two K was able to come up. So might have been able to squeeze out a one three for WZ. But I yeah, think I, I think I think WZ might have gotten. Uh, I mean, they were one three four before the shock. So we'll see what shakes things up. But Jack failing there. Oh, that's so costly. Unless there was something he didn't see around the hedges, but sometimes you have to remember where that backspin is placed because that could come back around to haunt you towards the end of the the race, and it certainly did. So yeah, we'll see what how that impacts the race. Obviously, like we said, a WZ shock, and yeah, it was able. It was Quinn, excuse me. I thought, I thought it was TK. Quinn able to sneak into third there. And definitely a slightly been. winning race. For yeah, WZ definitely should have been by more though. Um, Definitely, I mean, you know, probably kicking yourself for that one uh, if you're in Jack's shoes. But regardless, they still have a chance. It's a little bit less likely now, though, but they'll have a chance regardless with two left here. Absolutely, still have a chance. I believe they were able to catch Ethereal a bit on that race, so only down about 20 now. Down 20, exactly. So, you know, a, a top three, top four would be huge for WZ and Ethereal if they win the race by one. It's also just as huge if you think about it because they're just limiting how many, how much time WZ has. It's kind of like a, a clock mm -hmm. in an event. So WZ getting their track pick. Yeah. Well, I don't want to give a caster's curse here. Okay. But Bobby has been practicing this track quite a bit. He is very consistent at the strat. So I'm sure he's hoping to, uh, this is a very bipolar bagging track. If one of the baggers is able to get in the 10th, they're pretty much going to be 10th the rest of the race. That is true, unless but... They make, uh, place... Unless both of them make the cut at the same time. Ninth place doesn't happen does... too often. Yeah, ninth place does have a chance to spam boxes, though, if they don't get built right away. So, have to be somewhat careful about that. I mean, they, they can spam boxes. Good job. They can spam boxes, but there's really not many good places to spam boxes on this track. If you're in ninth, I mean, you can do it at the shy guy section, but you still got to drive pretty far up to fall off the bill. And they are air boxes, so you can't really just chain them, you know, perfectly if you were getting stars. So TK is able to get in the first. Uh, then Casper's not going to be able to use one there. Probably should have used one there. I mean, if he uses one a little bit before the ending of the ramp, he would have been the third. TK gets TK hit or something out of and there, and then he gets stuck. Oh. first was real, as both baggers did fail at their first attempt. Bobby making it back on a second one. Edison did not, so Bobby's going to be 10th for the rest of this race. Yeah, I don't looking very... Bagger got a box at 30 uh, instantly, so both of them looking itemless right now. And They're very grim for WZ. They're going to have to hope for Ethereal fail, maybe around here. Casper gets bumped, so he's not able to do the double. Ethereal ends up making it, and now they're top two going into the cannon. If they have shock, we'll see it here. I think Bobby just fell off. They're expecting a WZ to have shock, and I think they do. And they did. WZ was able to get it in ninth, dodging Casper and Jack <laughs> what in I 2 <laughs> But anyway, uh, Casper's cursed it. 
Yeah, caster's curse, but regardless, this will be a good job out. stopping oh, there. Drop and that back up. Look at this instant replay here. It's point of view. <laughs> it's replay getting the back one off on Crash and maybe Phasel as well. And Caster looks like he's going to get first if he makes the double. Uh, uh, uh this is going to be iffy. Uh, Faisal is going for the double. He makes it. Octal is in second, though. That's huge. But WZ can knock him out of there. Oh, I think he's going to hang on to second. Yeah, so. Oh, Jeff. And that's two Wait, for what? three. They got top two. Oh, what? What? Dang. How do you get top two out of that? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't see Caster's name at the end. Yeah, he got hit down to fifth. So Ethereal able to clutch out that top two despite Edison's ninth place shock. That's crazy. I mean, getting shock on Donkey Kong submit. I mean, you get a bomb the back crash, and you tell, oh man, Ethereal man, they must be on one right now. They get top two out of that. That's crazy. So I really want to see what happened to Casper at the end there. Hopefully, we can uh, check that out in between matches, but. Well, regardless, AV. Great match from Ethereal. And that's going to make it very hard for WZ to come back. Oh, yeah, that's right. It wasn't the last race, my bad. But <laughs> it felt like it, to be honest. But, yeah, I, that's, that's a dagger, man. From Peach Gardens to Donkey Kong Summit like that. Yeah. I, that's, that's tough. Two big swings that uh, definitely add up here. It was so close going into this GP for them. Obviously, regardless of result here, we will have another match coming up, hopefully soon after this. And yeah, Ethereum's lead is uh, pretty big now. So what, they need 30, 35 points, is that right? Yeah. yeah but it's, so that's gonna force an all run on WZ, they are picking GV2. Edison, like we said, a runner turned bagger, so definitely comfortable with going forwards, now that it has come to it. And it's going to be the ethereal track pick, though. So it's going to be tough to, you know, get that yeah, top that's, four stick, that's whatever they one. need here. That is a tough one. I think they need at least top four six. I mean, ethereal, they only need like third this year. So if they get yeah. third, they're, in, they're good. I think get the track, so. See how that impacts things, but they just have to play really safe. Maybe get a, a dodges if needed. So. And that's exactly what Faisal's gonna do. He's gonna drop the ninth, get a free dodge, perhaps. It might take him a bit, but ninth place probably will be rewarded eventually. But Casper, this is where, yeah, I mean, if you're the all-run team, you might as well maybe park yourself a ninth. I, I think that's a bit too much that. though, because he does yeah. still need to get a top spot, and this is a hard track to come back on. I think. Yeah, it, it is a little bit too much. Bro. That's a lot of time to go. And we see actually and failing cut as well. They're going to be eight. Yeah. Nine. So I think if you're a theory, you're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Early shock though. Early shock spam from Bobby. Yeah, they it's get like it. I believe that is not the first map. I had to guess. Interesting shock. I mean, you know, when the other team's all running, you typically do want to use two, but it does give eighth and ninth a good chance to come back up a little bit and then get the shot because they are ninth. So WZ can still theoretically get the shot unless Faisal sits, of course, like he should. And um, just not letting them get it is the better play. So your sacrifice is a terrible spot if they can get the dodges, but with Faisal holding the star, Bobby. Yeah, they yeah, time. they need they need a lot more than like top three, six, seven maybe. I mean, I think they might need more than that. So they're gonna have to figure out a way to work around this next shock, as we do see Bobby yeah, going back. Bobby does yeah. does have it. Yeah, I mean, there's there no. Is. So it's probably curtains pending a mass DC. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they are two, three, four. I think the theory is somewhere around those spots. So. It yeah. should be able to close this one out. Crash is in second, so yeah. And Cap's ready to oh! solve his dagger. <laughs> Adding salt to the wounds. I like it matters, but and Ethereal. That'll do it for match one. Ethereal takes it. We'll get a score for you momentarily when the results come in. But Jack holding first, not going to matter. And 
Match three coming soon. Well, match two, but Ethereal with a 2 nothing lead now only needs one more to be crowned the MKPS champions. Yeah, I mean, Ethereal just played great. There's nothing really more to it, so. All right, well, with match one in the books, we'll take a look at uh, what we saw that match. We'll bring back Irik. So, Irik, what did we just see? Oh man, what did we just see? I, I wish we got, I wish we got, you know, it looked like going in the GP3, we're finally going to have a match that just like, you know, was a down to the wire thing. Ethereal yeah. pulling back at the end of that one. Uh, jo uh, hats off to them for it, right? Uh, yeah. But a lot of like, really like, you know, highlight real moments. Um, you know, we'll have a couple of highlights playing in the background soon here, but I mean, for for me watching as someone in the background, I think both teams really held their ground to the last bit. Uh, and obviously, like, I think there were like small things we were wondering, like, like did Casper hit that shy guy or what went wrong over there? Uh, that really just ended up making the difference, those little small things uh, over yeah. time. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll go ahead and get them playing right about. Uh, let's try uh, now. And. Well, Ethereal winning by over 40 points, uh, only up by about 20 with two left. So pretty big swings those last two. Looking back here at race two. I mean, realistically, though, the, the team play from Ethereal, I, I think what made them win this match, they had a couple of signature moments. Uh, GP1, I mean, we have it on the screen right now, but ECB towards the end, obviously. And then we had a few others as well. BC3, right? right? Mario's gold mine, yeah. so. Right. Right here, Jeff slamming into the wall and getting Casper in the blue. This is probably the play of the match. I, I didn't, I didn't catch really that nice moment, play. but yeah, that was that was insane to see. Also, I, I, what I really like to see was like the team play generally, right? Just like consistently seeing people slow down with like those stars yeah. that they get or those megas they hold up until the last right here. Another was a good really great play. There. Really nice play by Jeff there once again, getting his team two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's something that's kind of evolved through the game, right? Uh, through the years where. We've seen a lot more swerving, trying to trail people or star people, and it's starting to take off a little bit more because people are starting to realize how effective it is. Yeah. Um, and we saw a lot, you know, in the first couple of races. So, and that, once again, I think that made the difference. So, absolutely. I think this match proves more than anything, especially with the way the game has progressed these past two years, you can't just be fast anymore. You got to have just a really good right. heads up play on the track, having a bagger who's able to communicate well both these baggers very good at that i think probably the two of the best in the game uh at communication how did so how did how that. did noctil do that i just want to ask how did how did he do that <laughs> like, that, that was just dumb that was just dumb <laughs> in the red. you know you know i think he just okay so i think where the reds were positioned right i think maybe they weren't in the exact line to maybe get him off the edge but he's just able to kind of swerve there and that fib is pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good throw. That was when we saw Jack dying off that power. Yeah, kind of I mean, he almost made it up there. Too. Then obviously, the shock here, but a little bit of a fail. And then I, I think WZ just kind of threw away that race a little bit, though. Just like how they kind of almost threw away Peach Gardens. There's two things to look back with how they could improve. Definitely uh, these last two races. Do we have Casper's here at the, uh... No, we only have Faisal, and I'm pretty sure that's spinning on the shy guy, just, right? I'm... That's just a shy guy. Yeah, you got it. You got it on the slow-mo. I got it. Yeah. We got it on the slow-mo. <laughs> slow-mo got it. I like, the, I like these slow-mo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. But... And this was, this was the salt in the wound bit that just you really hate to see. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really yeah. that. That's really all that we that's got tough. to see here. <laughs> All right, and that'll be it for match one of the grand finals of the MKPS final eight tournament. And with this victory, Ethereal go up 2-0 after they got a one game advantage being in the winner's bracket. Wallywogs have a hill to climb, but they have been involved in some very nitty gritty matches in this particular tournament. Will they be able to take match two and keep their hopes alive? Or will Ethereal ride at home and be declared the champions of MKPS season one? Stay tuned for match two.